Welcome to Monetized History. Today we're going to look at the U.S. 1935 $1 Silver Certificate. This particular certificate, 1935E, was issued between 1953 and 1957 during the administration of President Dwight Eisenhower. Over 5 billion of these notes were printed, and during this time, it would have been possible to redeem it for one silver dollar from the U.S. Treasury. On the front of the note is a portrait of George Washington, the first president of the United States. The portrait is based off of the painting by Gilbert Stuart called The Athenaeum, painted in 1796. Stuart was one of the foremost portrait painters of his time, having painted six presidents, three kings, and a who's who of the late 18th and early 19th century. The right of Washington's portrait is the seal of the United States Treasury, which can be found on all U.S. paper money. The words surrounding the seal are an abbreviation for Thesauri Americae Septentrionalis Sigillum, which is Latin for the seal of the Treasury of North America. And in 1968, these words were changed to the Department of the Treasury. The seal features scales to signify justice, a key to symbolize authority, and a chevron with 13 stars representing the original 13 colonies. The reverse of this note is almost identical to the current $1 bill missing only the phrase, in God we trust. That wasn't added to the bill until a 1956 law was passed requiring the phrase to be on all U.S. currency. It would first appear on the 1957 series silver certificates. The main features of the reverse of the bill are the front and back of the Great Seal of the United States, first used in 1782 and designed by William Barton and Charles Thompson. To the right is the obverse of the seal, which is also the coat of arms of the United States. Its main motif is the number 13, 13 stars above the eagle's head, 13 arrows, 13 olives and olive leaves, 13 letters in the Latin phrase e pluribus unum, which means out of many, one. It's also worth noting that the eagle, the national bird of the United States, is facing towards the olive branch, symbolizing that the U.S. always seeks peace while the arrows represent that we're always ready for war. To the left is the reverse of the seal, featuring an unfinished pyramid with 13 levels. At the base are the Roman numerals for 1776, the year the Declaration of Independence was signed. Anuit Keptis is another 13-letter Latin phrase, which means approved undertakings, or more loosely, providence has approved our undertakings. Novus Order Seclorum is a Latin phrase meaning new order of the ages, and is inspired by the Roman poet Virgil. The Eye of Providence above the unfinished pyramid has been a source of conspiracy theories for years, with many asserting that it's evidence of Masonic influence in the foundation of the United States. On the seal, it represents the all-seeing eye of God watching over the construction of the nation, represented by the unfinished pyramid. The eye did not become a common Masonic symbol until 1797, 15 years after it was first used on the Great Seal. Thank you for watching Monetized History. I hope you'll come back again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.